What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. My name is Evil One, and this episode, we ended the live stream a couple of hours ago. I saved it and quit. I had to go around a couple of things, uh, and so I'm picking up right where we left off. What we're going to do in this episode, if you watch the live stream, if you haven't, I highly recommend you go check it out. It was a bucket of fun. We did some really cool, crazy things on the live stream, and uh, well, we kind of got ourselves into a little bit of trouble, too. So that's what we're going to do on this episode is clean up our mess from that little boo-boo and uh, try to head back to Lake Valley. We need to get back there and start running some trains, building up the supplies, and um, get ready to come back up to Alaska. We got a lot of work to do here in Alaska, so we can't do it if we don't have the supplies. The supplies have got to come from the from California area, so we need to get on that. That's kind of a big priority. So without further ado, let's jump in the game here. We're right where we left off here uh, from the live stream, and I cannot move. Why can't I not move? This is weird. I cannot seem to move. All right, let's see if we can move. Okay, there we go. Um, I had to restart the game in order to be able to move. I don't know if that's a bug or what. You can also see too that I'm placed myself in the middle of the screen, uh, watching back that live stream. Uh, my, I was blocking the the speedometer, and uh, it'd be kind of interesting to see what we were doing. Um, so I do apologize for that. I'll try to stay here in the middle. Um, so yeah, I would like to move. I mentioned this on live stream too. I would like to move my camera to the middle because I have this big giant monitor right in front of me, and it takes up so much space around me that it maybe I can put the um, the webcam on top of the monitor uh, but I do have a, a light that goes around it so I don't know I'll have to fiddle with it but even then it'd be like you'd be looking down on top of me kind of a thing uh, conversely if I put it below the monitor uh, you'd be like looking up my nose so I don't know what a good solution is I don't want to put the camera in front of the monitor and because then I'd have to look around the the camera to see what I'm doing so Anyway, we need to go find death. That sounds kind of funny. Um, death is the locomotive that we uh, crashed. I think it's down here. Also, I don't remember where, exactly where we left it. Huh? There's a there's a locomotive. Where's a tender? <laughs> So as I, as I said, if you haven't seen that uh, live stream, go check it out. It, it's worth it. Trust me. All right, we'll go find that tender. I got a feeling it went this way a long ways. I know I can look use the map to find it, but it's we just fly. There it is. We'll get hooked up. Oh, break off. And some people are giving me some crap for not driving in first person like this, because I always jump into the UI. Um, and that's just for viewing. Like, it's easier to see around. It's not as realistic, obviously. Um, they didn't have drones fo following them uh, back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. So, I, I understand that. But, uh, yeah, it's just from a creativity standpoint, I guess. I mean, I can. I mean, it's I, I do run trains up here from time to time. So, let's just run this train up here. We'll open some doors. We do have to go a little fast. 
because we got a big steep climb ahead of us. I can't go back and check out the live stream. I didn't check the eye. Uh... Okay, we got some in there. I have to go find the rest of our train. <laughs> we left it on the side of the tracks, way far away. Oh, some of it's on the track, some of it's on the side of the tracks. All right, I'm gonna go into the UI so I can actually see. There we go. And now you can see the speedometer over here and I'm not in the way, so that's good. All right, we'll give it just this little bit of break. And this was a lot of fun making this, this little bit of track and conversing with the, the comments. I really did enjoy that. All right, well, I'm gonna cut it here and I'll pick it back up when we find our train. I actually think I see part of the train right over there. I think that's where we abandoned the majority of it. It's doing a little shimmy. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Just kind of shimmying along there, shaking its butt. All right, we need to come to a stop. Maybe not that much of a stop. We can get right up to it. We're not going to push it in reverse or push it with the the front of the locomotive here. We'll have to re-rail this entire train behind to, uh, to get it behind the train. Alright, that's probably good. I'll grab these water cars first, put them on back. This shouldn't take too horribly long. didn't want to stay on the tracks. The distance is getting pretty far here. I'm thinking maybe we should couple these up and drive forward a little bit. There we go. And turn off the brakes on them. I don't think they're going to roll. There's like some sort of bug or something that the uh, cars don't want to roll if they are on a slope after re-railing and you release the brakes. It's like they're they're stuck there, which is kind of a bummer because sometimes I want to use gravity to help couple up the train. Oh, this one's rolling. Maybe it's only on certain cars. Okay, we'll just back up a little bit. Get those gondolas coupled up. Reverse her back. Brake off. Give it a little bit of regulator. watching back here. Okay, I see it moving. 
Versa forward. Don't need to give it too much. We're not going too far here. Need to roll down the track just a little bit. Apply a little brake, a little more brake, a lot more brake. Hopefully we don't derail everything. That's how all this got derailed. That's because we were coming down this way and I applied the brakes and the whole train just derailed. I think I derailed three times, not counting the, the shenanigans. These ones coupled up. I was really hoping it would roll. <laughs> okay. I'll back up again. Reverser and reverse. That's a horrible whistle. Break off, give it a little bit of regulator. for this last car to start moving. There we go. Probably been moving for a little bit, but I couldn't really tell. So, all right. I'll go reverse her forward. Brake is already off. We're already rolling. Now the rest of the train is down this track somewhere. Not sure where. So let's go find it. Okay, I was like, that looks really weird. I don't remember it being like that. <laughs> okay, I see the rest of the train up ahead here. Looks like it's actually intact. So that's good. All right. We'll just one at a time it again. We'll grab our caboose. Put it on the end. Turn off all the brakes. I really wish I could get to that brake without climbing up here. It's all right. Soak up? Nope. Okay. So we have to back up again. No big deal. Break off, reverse, run, reverse. Back it up. Now, trying to see that caboose moving is going to be kind of hard. Guessing we got it. We'll pull forward and, and see. Oh, 
turn the break off. I must have another break on somewhere. Oh, did I turn off the caboose? Oh, I didn't have the regular turned up. I was looking at the reverser for some reason. I don't know. Okay, so we do have another car up here on the side of the track. It's a little flat car that uh, we just had to leave on the side during the live stream. So we're gonna have to break the train and put that flat car back, back where it belongs. car should be right up ahead up here somewhere. We'll go past it a little ways. Yeah, there it is right there. Seeing the slack come out of the train is kind of scary. <laughs> All right. Well, let's put it right here. We'll set the brake on here. Uncouple this. Take off the brake. Give it some space. That's probably good. There we go. see if just one brake could be able to hold that a little bit, but no. Alright, let's go brake off. It should start roll backwards. 
All right, give it a little bit of help. Watching back here. I don't think I quite made it. There we go. were set. All right, now we got to get back to the yard. We need to offload these water tanks. Those don't go back with us to, to Lake Valley. Break off, reverse or forward, bull power. Okay, coming into the yard. We have our maintenance way train right in the main on the main line here. We might have to move it. It's been kind of bothering me for a little bit now. Start bringing it to a stop. Sure, we're in the lane. Oh, my mouse go. Full pull break. Perfect. Whistle. <laughs> All right, so we will come down here and set the brake on this high side gondola. Brake set. Break this coupling right here. There we go. And we will pull this train forward. We'll back it down this lane right here. Next to the water water tower. Not underneath the water tower, just next to it. Uh, we want reverse forward, break off. Toot toot. If I'm clear of that switch yet, it stops so fast. Brakes are really good on the 125. That's enough bell. All right, using the map without even getting out of the UI, we'll switch that like that. So we will put it in this lane right here next to the water tower. Go reverser and reverse, break off, we'll get a little bit of regulator. Toot, toot, toot. Back it up. Lots of bells and chimes and stuff going on right now. I kind of like it when there's a bunch of them, but uh, they do get kind of annoying after a while, for sure. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Full break. I'll 
set a break there and f right there just for fun. And we'll break this coupling. Now, I do want to grab this maintenance away train right here. And we'll park it like closer over here, maybe. Let's see, where's a good spot? I don't want to park it in the shed. It should kind of have its own little. I wonder if it'd fit in here. We have our snow plows here. To get it over here, though, we'd have to take it on the round round table here. Hmm. I like this lane right here next to it. Or maybe one over here. Yeah. Just to get it out of the way. It can't be sitting on the main anymore. up to our, our train here. What is this? Are you kidding me? This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> it, it can't stay on the tracks unloaded. You hit the brakes just a little bit and everything just comes derailed. I don't know if they're just too light or, or what, but now we have to fix this. So, choice. needed some fire in the player box here. Wow. He's just in there banging away. You know, some, certain things I wish they would actually fix. I mean, I, I love the devs. They make, make the game really enjoyable and polished, but some things, like, that doesn't need to be banging its bell for 20 minutes. You know, after we've booted the game. Sorry, that's my little rant. I'm a little annoyed because this car, too. <laughs> oh, come on. Consciously, part of my brain still wants the regulator on this side. They did change it relatively recently. I guess it's been a couple of months now. Okay. Back up. back up into it here and brakes should all be off captured and captured okay brakes are off now the only thing we have to do is drive down here make the loop and head back to Lake Valley Let's get it done. Break off, reverse or forward, full regulator. This train keeps derailing like this. It's going to be a long journey back to California.
Well, it's going to take me a while to get back to Lake Valley. So I'm thinking I'm going to end it right here. And then the next episode will be arriving in Lake Valley with this train. I'd like to thank you so very much for hanging out with me and, and watching. I really do it and I really do appreciate it. As a reminder, please hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button too, if you haven't done so already. And hit that little bell notification while you're at it. That way you never miss an episode. And if you're feeling very generous, I really do appreciate you becoming a member of my channel. There is a lot of great benefits to becoming a member, including behind the scenes, uh, some special perks and Discord, and uh, a couple of other fun little things. So please consider becoming a member. I really do greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.